usual cliche now is to bring 300 million people out of poverty. Of course, that leaves quite a few hundred million people who haven't been lifted quite so high. But it's maybe cruel, having done all these impressive things, they have to deal with the consequences of their previous policies. And the consequences are people have reached a new stage and they're making new demands. You can't. Uh, what was there? Used to be a New York play, Stop the World, I Want to Get Off. Well, the leaders of China can't get off. They're there and they have to cope. And they've created a lot of these human rights expectations. I wonder if they had to do it again. Would they put human rights and property rights uh, in the Constitution? Would they carry on a legal education system that's one of the booming areas of academic life? with roughly 700 law schools and law departments. When I first went to China, you couldn't find one that was open. And with an elite core of law professors who come here and elsewhere to train, who were really teaching their students to imbibe Western values that are being denounced by the leadership on the same day they're teaching about Western constitutional and other laws. The leadership in China has, in a way, created its own nightmare. And now there are these roosts, these, uh, what shall I say, chickens to use the bird flu uh, metaphor are coming home to roost. So this is, in a way, you have to feel sorry for them, unless you're acquainted with the continuing cruelty that they seem unnecessarily to inflict on so many good people.